Hi, I'm Anita here. I'm a housewife who enjoys cooking. And now with Navratri festival coming up, there's the fasting going on. There'll be a lot of farar which needs to be cooked. So I'm going to teach you how to make sabudana khichdi. So basically, I will talk about the ingredients that are required for the sabudana khichdi. First, of course, sabudana, diced potatoes, green chili. There is curry leaves, sugar, inji. Lime, the cumin seeds, kothmali, and salt, and we need coarsely grounded roasted peanut powder. So first, I'm going to tell you the trick in soaking the sabudana. What I do is soak it for one hour in water completely and drain it out, and keep it in a flat uh, plate overnight with a wet napkin on it. It's almost already cooked. So I'm going to now start the procedure. So I'm going to take some oil and put it in the kadhai. First, put a little jeera. So once it starts splattering, add the curry leaves and the diced potato. I'm going to put a little salt in the potato so that it cooks faster. I'm going to cover this. Now I am going to put all the other ingredients into the sabudana. So I have added the salt. I am putting the green chilies. I don't make a paste out of the chilli and the ginger because then it loses the colour. A little bit of ginger. Ginger is added to it because it will help in not creating gas because it's very very starchy. Then the roasted peanut powder, the lime juice and the sugar according to your taste and lots and lots of coriander. So I'm going to mix this together. And since it's been soaked overnight, it's already almost cooked. The mistake that most of us make is that we cook this for a very long time and it becomes like gum. And never, never can you microwave a sabudana khichdi. So you can see that they are cooked, the potatoes are cooked already. So now I'm going to put the whole mixture into the kadai. Just mix it for a while. Always take a wide kadai because then it doesn't get stuck. The heat is constant everywhere. In a minute or two, we cover it and cook it and then the sabudana khichdi is ready. You cannot overcook it. That is the trick in sabudana khichdi. As you can see, the khichdi is ready now and the whole thing is it is not stuck to the bottom because I haven't overcooked it because being soaked overnight it's already cooked and I'm going to serve it in a bowl and garnish it with coriander. Generally the sabudana khichri is eaten with the curds and a green mint and coriander chutney. Enjoy it! Guys, if you found this video useful which I know for sure you will Please like it and share it with people and subscribe to Radan Foodies. Iniki ungilka sundal konda kadla sundal eppadi pandradunu solli kudukka poren. Open panninga na your cork attached ready to be steamed. <laughs>